hero is the entrepreneur, the shaker and the maker. Positive thinking, we are told, is everything. Think it, and we can do it. Or can we? Let's rest the issue. Now, personally, some days I wake up, and I look out the window, and I think it's great to be alive. Other days, like payday or my ex-wife's birthday, I want to hide under the pillows and cry. But that's me, a man of contradictions, as my therapist said. He was a Jungian. But whatever. I'm Maurice Chavez. And on our panel right now, we've got three very contrasting views about the issue of positive thinking. On my right, I have gothic artist, vampire hunter, and, in his words, man of the night, Konstantinos Smith. Konstantinos, hello. Greetings, mortal. I hope this is good. I'm missing a seance to be here. You don't sound excited to be here. No, man. I'm mind-numbingly depressed. It's great. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And on the left, I have positive thinker extraordinaire, a man who dragged himself up from the gutter, Jeremy Robard. Hey, the ghetto, not the gutter. I didn't live in the gutter. I lived in the ghetto. I'm a survivor, not vermin. I'm from the streets. Okay. Hey, I can teach you how to be a survivor, too. All of you. I can help everyone. I've got what they call a gift for communications. I can help you all realize that gift. Make something of yourselves. Realize your dreams. I'm like a high school counselor. I'll show you your potential. It's easy. All you have to do is follow my simple program on audio cassette or VHS. Okay, okay, not right now. This isn't a commercial. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, I can't let you read these blatant plugs. People pay for that. Hey, everything in life is an opportunity. When I was in jail, I got the idea for my current business. And look at me now. I got offices in Vice City, Bogota, Lebanese, and Jamaica. If I can do it, I can help you make something of yourself. You can be just like me, a success. Uh, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. It's a three-stage process. Learn, start, doing. Uh, shut up. I I'm warning you, this is my show. You shut your mouth. Shut it now and keep it shut. Do not push me, you shiny-suited prick. Do not push me. Hey, you have to dress to impress. I cover that in my program. People make judgments on who you are based on your appearance. Scientists say... We form 98% of our opinions on a person in the first day of second we meet them. Hey, and if scientists say it, it must be true. I teach you how to live that. Enough! This is pressing issues. Enough now, okay? Enough. Please, no more. Okay, my last panelist is someone without a plan to sell. Without a program, but with a beautiful message. So it says here. Vice City Civilian of the Year for 1985, Jenny Louise Krapp. Hi, Maurice. This is such a lovely studio. Thanks. How are you doing? Great, great. In fact, I'm fantastic. Did you see the sunrise this morning? It was gorgeous. I've been smiling all day ever since. <laughs> okay. Now let's get with the policy of ladies first. And since you seem to be the most pleasant person here, Jenny, let's start with you. You seem like a very happy person. Oh, I am. <laughs> really? Why? Well, life's great, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, good 